Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Capricorn. Alrighty guys, this will be our second career and money reading for January 2022 as we break down the month into, shall we say, four quarters. So it's a month of many weeks. Let's see what we can say to you guys today using 10 cards. Hopefully I could shuffle. 10 cards breaking down elements of the goal or the question, okay? And we're looking at always the what, why, how, and where, and when, and with whom as well of things. How is, you know, what Capricorn getting a promotion? How are we making more money at our business if we own one? And what's the better path for that? Okay, so here I'm seeing, I'm seeing your ability, okay? to manage changes, okay? I'm seeing an ability here to make decisions. So we're looking at a page of swords to begin. And then at the end, we're looking at a knight of swords. Therefore, I'm looking at a path for this page. We are looking at selecting, okay, something between two here because we cannot escape the selection <laughs> the selection process that we are going through here capricorn so is it between two jobs or is it two markets or is it two you know a promotion opportunities are you going somewhere no i feel like that is a consideration as well the where okay here we're standing at the end of it we're riding a horse okay so changes on capricorn's mind with a five of cups that they want to translate into money changes right so here we go and we have the thought process here that you know needs a little bit of nourishment needs a little bit of perhaps maybe additional information right that is a page's energy but it's going to graduate and so your current effort is really to study to study <clears throat> the changes you're about to make the way i see it here guys as we talk change here i think capricorn you're considering okay the impact of a move on yourself i think you're weighing those options very 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 carefully here the change element is coming in a happy mode the change element appears okay exciting there appears to be this ah i feel like this could be a good chance i should take this chance one way or another we have a wheel of fortune here as the outlook on your current question should i make this change should i change it's like you're tempted by something okay different and something new in a way okay and checking in frame here yes we are a new part can also have to do with geography for some reason now there's definitely a choice that is being weighed that is being studied and that's why we have those scales here so you're going to be fair to yourself in that case if you're moving okay have a plan b if you are moving right um understand the impact three months six months three years etc give that the thought that is the energy that the justice card is asking of us here now are you going to choose rationally i believe so i think we asset we have the asset we have here is relating to you're following your passion but in a rational way still the choice here comes a two of cups another asset you have which we could develop okay and develop even more and say maybe that's why because you look like an amazing amazing <clears throat> market researcher if you will the two of cups who do i fall in love with who do i attract okay you're able to attract customers obviously in the business sense right who do i fall in love with who do i want to understand my market when are they ready to buy do they like what i do when can i offer more how can i expand do i understand their habits so you seem to have this rational understanding here when i also look at the immediate result i think that is your thought process you're looking at data before you make a decision because in your decision as you pull the trigger or accept one of those offers here you're looking for the long term and that is something to stay with us so it's an opportunity we see it here we understand that it has a long-term impact we also understand capricorn that it has the impact of material changes here okay now timing note as you finish off that decision making process as you weigh the options and you weigh the next steps and you consider the next steps right year ahead three years from now five years from now you get confident you get the number seven you get the seven of wands 
and the purpose here was to really solidify authority in a way and to make more money absolutely so here we have a king of coins not only do you want to make money let's put it this way you want to manage money we're looking to get rich okay there's an opportunity here that could get you rich but at the same time it requires a little bit of discipline okay it'll require a little bit of careful studying at the end of the day you're taking action based on you know what a sound sense of judgment a sound sense of direction going forward very 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 sharp and this is what we need at this time in the year and always of course capricorn so love the idea that you are choosing okay potentially there is a move with the wheel of fortune there and at the same time there is a skill set of you decision making executive look at those three here an executive here love it love it love it okay capricorn let's throw our 10 more cards here and see the synchronicity of what you are doing and where you are going where you may be going because here we go again the wheel of fortune to begin it's that's a driver this is that compartment of should i go is this my question what am i doing about it so we have it again here there's definitely something attractive on the other side as you weigh those options do i stay or do i go i think we have in a way a desire to move forward to go ahead even if it's away but really this is a good careful exercise what are the implications look at your synchronicity again weighing the options again with the justice card so i'm not going to um, freak out and say please consider the implications of the move but i'm going to now insist insist on you one being fair to yourself when you are moving if you are moving remember yes we are heroes and champs but we take time to adjust so lower the expectations manage their expectations first so you can over deliver okay under promise over deliver that's something we need to keep saying every time we get the justice card in a um you know what moving away um reading if you will okay how do i become fair to myself how do i serve myself well understanding what you could do understanding of the timing too wheel of fortune big promises right big promises and people like that with commercial people so speaking from experience to you capricorn and i really i'm gonna just face it here from the heart guys big promises well you will excite people but at the same time you have to have a flow of early wins okay i gotta say this and underscore and underline that if you've opened up a new market if you're taken into a new position because there's some big bang there's a huge opening there still under promise and over deliver okay all right all right and then we got the justice as to the way that we are making up our mind about this decision i don't know why it has this should i stay or should i go um aspect to it okay immediate action here well the priorities the understanding of them okay if i'm going what has to happen first and how do i be successful at my first three months i want you to impress okay i want you to impress at your first three months so understand those steps understand the impact on you knight of wands is the energy as you make up your mind now let's shore up all the stamina all the enthusiasm all the energy and go ahead with it you've been fair to yourself now you're going to show them achievement okay this is just a step from being the king of wands this is just a step from being the executive this is almost just a step from joining the board okay from sitting on a board of directors of sort i love it two of cups okay again judgment judgment your talent will be judged and you will be feared and you again make up the you know what best sound judgment by always understanding the other party okay so on top of your market research abilities here when i was saying you understand the other side you also have the best judgment as to when to introduce something to the market something new you have the understanding of when is the best timing right and in what format and with what little uh, bits of shall we say trials trial orders and so on and so forth market trials okay i love that i love that i love that an executive with sound judgment and you have an offer and you are considering 
you know what? Yes, this could be the field. This could be the territory. This could be the geography that actually brings a lot more of those. The wheel of fortune. Environment, guys. The work environment is so key. Uh, where are you going? And here's the answer, okay? And here's the opportunity. And the opportunity does involve a travel somewhere. Now, take that with a grain of salt. That could be just, a, you know what, across the street too, but it's a move. It could be the company across the road, but it's a move. It could be a very different company or it could be a similar, but I see here a definite decision where your skill set is in demand. Someone is luring you. Someone is offering you something that looks attractive. All I'm going to say is secure yourself. Negotiate hard. Put yourself the contingency plan. And you're off to an amazing, amazing start, Capricorn. I love it. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> so here's the lover and here's the situation. We are choosing between something here. You're definitely in demand and there's definitely more fortune around that. All I want is your contract to be solid and firm. Okay. I love it. I love it. If I have more energy, I would be really, really jumping up and down. But here we go. As to the timing and it's the moon. Okay. Eliminate the lack of clarity. Okay, but as a timing note, Marwan can also say this is happening in a month. This is happening in a cycle. Okay, a little bit of mystery, a little bit of mystery here. But what I want to say is, please bring the clarity in a well-defined contract. Please bring the clarity in a well-defined set of responsibilities. Please bring the clarity and the confidence to yourself in a well-defined key performance indicators okay so i'm moving here i am the star capricorn and you guys have head hunted me okay you've offered me this all right well i do have some criteria here this is how i'm going to you know what do this and that this is how i'm going to do that and you're very very clear as to your mode of operation you're getting early sign offs you know why i'm saying that right now that's the honeymoon period right in business there is also a honeymoon period right in the first three months and people can form amazing and i've seen that happens because guys executives are not all smart i mean let's face it here not everybody because they are the c something okay c suite not every c suite guy is a smart guy not every c suite guy deserves to be in the c suite okay it always is a telling sign, of course, of who you have in your board, okay? C gives you an idea on the kind of company it is. But believe me, sometimes people just don't have the right, the right uh, credentials, and they are there. So that's why you are clarifying all these things prior to your start, prior to you taking over, taking it on, so that in week one, you're delivering to the, here's my checklist, I thought I told you, company huh who offered me here who had hunted me i thought i told you this will be my delivery mode check week two check month three check and in between you have a win and in between you have something that solidifies the idea that yes you are you are this kind of a manager and you deserve to be on a board of directors i don't know why i blabbered for that long about it but really this was coming out to me purpose here God bless your money. God bless your money. King of coins on top of your king of coins. God bless you. God bless you. That's all I'm going to say, guys. There are a lot of blessings here coming your way, Capricorn. It's uh, God bless you guys on this journey. Let's just put it this way. And as a possibility, I feel good. I feel good. I have my four of cups now. Not only have I sorted out, is this a business model? Is it a four of sorts? Okay. Do I have my business process? Do I know what I need to do to be the winner? Is this a, uh, you know what, four of coins where I can now establish something to grow from? I think we have well more than a four of coins by way of projecting positively or by way of what is the potential, okay? This looks like a hard job, okay, that pays well, but you also have another opportunity to really take it up a notch to sit on a board, sit on a chair of four cups, okay? I don't know why this is coming up, but your reading, in my humble view, your reading was beautiful because it's not just about finding cards that have a positive meaning. It is really finding some validation to some points, right? As we were saying, 
you are being attracted to an opportunity that looks big and lucrative on the other side. Where we need you, making the choice here, is to be fair to yourself. Under promise, you can go ace it. And you know what it is, Capricorn. Success breeds success, guys. You go into the new role and you have a big bang of a success in your first two months. Guess what? Up to management you are. Up to the board you are. Maybe another headhunter will find you and say, hey, we're the better party for you. So I love it. God bless you guys. I really enjoyed your reading. I hope you guys did too. Let me know what you thought. And as always, Capricorn, you beautiful. We do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.